All right, guys, welcome to your uh, weather patterns lab. We're on day three. Today we're working on map C, all right? So part C on the worksheet in terms of questions and make sure that you are on the map that says map C surface wind patterns. This one's uh, pretty simple. Um, make sure that you know your differences between your high and low pressures. So back in uh, day one, when I went over this, um, this is really important, all right? If you're looking at the YouTube video and you wanna take a screenshot, I don't even know if that's something you can do, but uh, you should because this information is really, really helpful um, moving forward, okay? Um, okay, so let's go through what it asks you to do. So on map C, at each station model, extend the shaft of the wind arrow through the station model and draw the head of the arrow to show the direction the wind is blowing. All right, so what that means is, you know how a station model, um, you have the circle and here's the, the shaft, right, the flagpole, and that tells you what direction the wind is coming from, right? They are saying extend the shaft through the station model and draw an arrow to show what direction it is blowing, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing I did for day two. I'll do half of it and then you guys can do the other half. I'll stick to the same side, okay? So this is essentially what you're gonna have to do. On every single one of these, you're gonna take and extend. Okay, every single one. You're gonna take your weather station models and extend those shafts and add the arrow, all right? That sound is me turning my iPad. Here. All right, so a couple things that I want us to remember. If you go up, it says, the next part, label the centers of the high and low pressures. All right, so we did that already. So we did that in the last one. We know that Cincinnati was our low pressure center, okay? And then it says for number three, Draw larger arrows to show the general pattern of airflow. All right, so this is when we go to the side and remember our high versus low um, lick hock, right? This is out clockwise, this is in counterclockwise. So in a low pressure system, we are making our arrows that go in and counterclockwise, all right? So it's gonna look like this, in and counterclockwise, like this, okay? Um, you should also notice, remember how we also remembered this, um, hope, no, that's not what it was, my bad. It was high, die and this was loco, right? Low pressure is convergent, high pressure is divergent. Look at all these arrows, they're all coming in on the center, that is convergent. So low pressure systems are convergent, whereas you guys can already kind of get an idea of what's going on on the left side, all the arrows are gonna be going away from the center, so that's gonna be divergent. All right, so I did the low pressure system. You guys got to do the high pressure system. As far as the questions, and questions are pretty self-explanatory. Take a look. Um, low pressure center, temperature, humidity, precipitation. This whole time we've been saying if it's low pressure, it's lousy weather. 
So it's going to be, and remember the W's, it's going to be warm, wet, and rainy, right? So if you remember that stuff, this should be uh, pretty simple. All right, so uh, day three, generally uh, an easy one. Answer your questions, make your arrows, make your map nice and pretty.